Are you looking for a microphone that will instantly improve your vocal performances? Then look no further, because today we are checking out a full range of vocal microphones from Sennheiser. Welcome back to the Gear for Music Symptom Tech channel, guys. My name is Theo, I hope you're having a great day today. And as I said at the start of this video, we are checking out microphones from Sennheiser, and I am joined today with Steven from Sennheiser. Thank you so much for coming down today, yeah, Thanks Steve. for having me, man. Really looking forward to what we're going to be getting into. But before we do get into that, why don't you tell myself and everybody at home who you are cool. and why are you here? Yeah, so I'm Steven, or some people know me as Button. Um, I'm a singer myself, singer for 15, 20 years and done everything, sort of pubs, clubs, mm. corporate, weddings, all that kind of stuff, originals, covers. So I've got a fairly broad experience of how this all works. And yeah, today we're gonna go through how these microphones can help you take your live performance up a level. So when we're thinking about microphones, today we're specifically talking about vocal microphones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what makes a microphone specifically geared towards vocalists? Yeah, so let me, let me take you to a normal situation, normal gigging situation. So you turn up, if you're really lucky, you've got your own mix engineer or sound engineer, but that is few and far between. Like sometimes the venue has, has someone that can do that as well. Uh, if they do, make sure you buy them a drink. That always goes down <laughs> well. You will always sound good when that happens. Yeah, so you turn up, pack all, you know, you're getting all your rig up, the PA, whatever, um, and then it's ready for sound check. Get into sound check, and the key thing there is that you want to sound great in the mix. Mm. And if you're by yourself, you've got to do that kind of back and forth between the mixing desk and going to where the, the audience is actually going to hear you. So it can just take a bit of time, you know, doing those tweaks, doing the EQ, compressors, whatever it is that you want. Now, it depends if you're with a band or, you know, with backing tracks or just you on by yourself with an instrument. If you're with you and just an instrument, it's even harder to, mm. to, to do, do that mix, like to get into the to the space where everyone's going to hear you. So it's kind of that's that's the scenario, right? The scenario of of um, where people are. So picking a microphone, what makes a vocal microphone a vocal microphone? Okay, so like any instrument microphone, they're doing a specific job, mm. and so each instrument is hitting at different parts of the frequency range. So for vocals, um, you're looking at the low hundreds is where all of the body of your voice comes out of. So I'm being really general here in terms of when I talk about it, but those bottom hundreds are, are, are the body. You then get sort of 1,000 to 3,000 hertz and then up to sort of 10, 15,000 hertz. That's where all of the present sparkle, like the framing is. So it's like, that's the part that puts you in the mix. That m makes you feel forward. So like when, you know, when people are hearing you uh, as the audience member, you're kind of like right in their face and you feel really present. In terms of frequency response, you know, a vocal microphone is going to be boosting or getting rid of certain, certain yeah, frequencies. Exactly. Unfriendly yeah. frequencies and friendly frequencies, you know, being made more present. But is there any other features, you know, specific to these microphones which are really going to be helping, you know, vocalists? I think nothing, nothing that a normal vocal microphone wouldn't do in mm. terms of it being rugged and, you know, making sure that it can do its job. The mm. main thing about a vocal microphone is all about that frequency response and where it's helping you mm. get, get all the things that you need as a singer. So the main objective of our video today is really just to help you know which mic vocal microphone is going to be working best for you within this sort of Sennheiser range. But in order for us to do that, there are a few points you kind of need to know about in terms of your own education, which will help you choose what kind of microphone yeah, to go sure. for. For sure. And I think it's best to say, you know, this is a real general overview. If you want the real technical stuff, there's lots of videos mm. out there for you to be able to do that. There are two different types of microphone. There's condensers and there's dynamics. So condensers are great for studio use, usually used in the studio because they're so sensitive. They pick up absolutely everything, the nuances in your voice, which kind of makes them a, a bit bad when you're on a stage with lots of different instruments. So that's why most people will use a dynamic mm. mic. They're a little less sensitive. They're a bit more rugged. They don't need... Uh, 48 volt phantom power. So they're they're a lot more conducive mm. to a stage environment. The other thing that we should go through is that two main polar patterns. There's there's loads of polar patterns out there. But the two that work well on stage are cardioid and supercardioid. So cardioid is like the heart shape, kidney shape. Mm -hmm. It means that when you pick one up, you sing on axis here. So this is a top address mic. So the axis is here. 
Now, if you're lively like I am on stage, then I tend to be like this and my mic technique is a bit bad. But the thing is, is that it can kind of keep most of the voice mm. around here. So if you kind of come off axis, it's not really a problem. You might have a dip in level, um, like this is the perfect, but coming off isn't too bad. Now, if you have um, a super cardioid, the, the perfect place to be singing is here, okay? And as soon as you come off that axis, you're going to lose all of that level. It's just going to go. So it's uh, the, the kind of super cardioid is perfect for people who have that incredible mic technique, mm. um, which I would say is few and far between. But super cardioid also has a much better rejection of sound around it. Now, the cardioid does do that. It's, it's good. It can kind of you know, take out all of those unwanted frequencies. But super cardioid are great at just taking absolutely everything out. And that's going to be perfect if you have, if you're on the stage, you're incredibly loud. If you've got big amp stacks, uh, you know, drums that monitors, you, like monitors going feed, everywhere. Yeah. It's the it's the rejection that's super important. Also aids with feedback and, and and all kinds of things. And that's why dynamic is great. Yeah, it takes away pretty much most of that over a condenser. So we've had a look at kind of <clears throat> you know some of the features which are very conducive to a vocal microphone what you would need, what's really important. So frequency response, obviously polar pattern as well, and understanding what's going to work for you in the certain situations. So now, should we have a look at some of these individual microphones? Yeah, for a sure. A bit closer? Yeah, let's do this. All right, then, guys, so the first step on this magical journey that is our trip through the vocal, the uh, Sennheiser vocal <laughs> microphone world is the 800 series. So in front of me right now, we have the E835 and the E845. Mm -hmm. so why don't you tell me a little bit about these two okay. microphones? So 800 series is all about plug and play. And straight out of the box, these things are going to sound great. So A35 is the cardioid version. Sure. So this is the one where you can be a little bit more mm -hmm. expressive on stage. Yep. Go do, do your thing. Um, so in terms of a, a frequency response, the A35 um, has a nice little roll off has all of that support in the lower hundreds yep. uh, for that body. Uh, and then it has a scoop, a little peak up to around, I think, 5K. Mm -hmm. And that extends all the way to 10. So that yep. kind of, again, that boost is all in that presence and air. So when we talked about framing, that's kind of like where that is. And then you've got a nice sharp roll off at the top end to take out all of those other higher frequencies. And the 845, I'm guessing, is the... Very similar, except for the, the polar pattern. Though. Yeah, the polar pattern. So this is the super cardioid version. Um, it is similar, again, in terms of plug and play, um, although it's slightly different in its frequency response. So um, it's got that similar kind of bottom bottom end roll off and then the, the core middle part. Mm. Uh, and then it's got a scoop around 5K and then that actually goes up to, I think, around 13,000, 15,000 hertz. Mm. Yeah, so this is great for vocalists that are singing in that higher registers, mm. um, it's got a, a, a slightly higher roll off or higher part before it rolls off. Mm. Everyone calls it slightly different things, brilliance, shimmer, mm. sparkle, whatever it is that you want to call it. It's just, you've got the presence that hits up to around 10,000 hertz. And that's where your vocal is just going to come straight at the crowd. Mm. And then that top end is just where it it starts to really, really shine and just adds that little bit of magic that people go, oh my God, that sounds incredible. <clears throat> and you'll be able to hear that because at the end of this video, we have some wonderful vocalists that are going to be coming in and doing a sound test for all of the microphones that you're going to be seeing in the video today. Mm -hmm. So if you, you can skip right now, if you're bored of listening to us, you can skip right now. Fair enough. And go and listen uh, <laughs> to those vocalists singing that. But one thing, before you do skip, let's just talk about where this sits in terms of price range, because that's yeah. really important. It's probably one of the reasons that you're here, and we under always understand that price is king. And this is sort of not lo not lower end, but sort of like your your middle to, to yeah, sort so of lower like, end Yeah, so this is like it's sub 100 pounds, 100 yeah. euros. So it's really, really affordable. And as I say, it's just, it's great for plug and play. So if you just want to get up there, bam, psh, sound good. This is your mic, or well, these are your mics. So we're now moving on to the 900 series of yeah. microphones. And I guess the big question on everyone's mind is there is a price jump here. Mm -hmm. um, and how do we justify that price point and what makes them better than the 800 series? Yeah, really good, really good questions. <laughs> so the difference between 800 and 900 is that 900 allow you to sculpt yourself mm. a little bit better. So if you're further on in your journey, uh, in your musical journey, and you like to EQ, you like to put compressors on, you like to do all that stuff, 
then these marks are going to allow you to do that a little bit, a mm. little bit better. The capsules, um, they have a higher output level, so you can pretty much scream into these things, and they're just not going to, they're not going to distort. You're going to hear mm. all of that sound that's coming out of that vocal, and they're also more sensitive. So it means that you're going to be able to hear again all of those nuances when you're when you're going really quietly. Mm. You're going to be able to hear all of those bits that are coming out. So in terms of the two microphones that we have, we have the 935, which is the cardioid version. So again, this is for those people that like to strut around the stage doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So the 935 um, has a scoop or a peak around 2000, and that kind of extends out to about 11,000. So again, just giving you all of that boost mm -hmm. where you need it in the presence and air. And then the 945 is the super cardioid version. So you need to be right on top of that thing for it to sound really, really good. But with the uh, 945, you actually get a bit more extension uh, in those top frequencies, so mm. it extends to around 15, 16,000 hertz, so you get a little bit more uh, opportunity for that air and presence for those higher vocal vocalists that are going to be singing. And just to mention, you know, what you said with, with control, I mean, it's a little bit less um, acute, the, the, the frequency response of the microphones, which basically means you, you have way more, more control when, when mixing. Uh, and your engineer, if you do have an engineer, will have more control over, you know, overall how the microphone sounds, because you will need to have that yeah. control in different rooms, different scenarios, different setups, different and instruments. It's a, it's a really good. I think it's a really good point to say because it's kind of if yeah, if you do, if you are going around with a, an engineer and they have the ability to make you sound absolutely incredible, mm. these are your mics because yeah. they're going to have the ability to be able to do that. The eight hundred series, you know, they can do that, but they're built to be pl plug and play so that you can just sound great straight out of the box. So the next set of microphones we're going to be looking at is the MD series, a really serious microphone. And we do take a slight, well, a, a decent jump up in mm -hmm. price when we're looking at these microphones. So why don't you tell me why that is? Yeah, so these are aimed at the professional musician on the stage, day in, day out. Uh, there are huge musicians using these microphones. Now, the big difference is that they sound a lot tighter. Uh, so when they're being framed, you know, as we talk about that frequency range, mm. they are hitting right at the front. They're punching through absolutely everything. They also have really good feedback rejection whilst you're on stage. So when you've got all of these different noises going on, both of them actually perform really, really well. I'll be honest, like I use the MD-435. Mm. It just sounds incredible. You've yeah. got everything. So you have a boost all the way as you're going up towards that presence and air. And it gives you that allowance to be able to kind of do whatever you want. But to be honest, I, I just use mine as a flat uh, flat mm. EQ and it just, it sounds superb. It sounds really, really good. And the thing about um, these microphones is, you know, there is a jump in price, but if you are taking music seriously, you are a vocalist, I don't really think there is. It's definitely justified because you do get a clearer, better sound, as you said. And, you know, if you are gigging, if you're a weekend musician or you're gigging every every single day, spending that little bit of extra money is really going to improve your vocal performance. You know, guitarists spend thousands of pounds on gear every <laughs> single year. And all you really have to do as a vocalist is just pick up one mic and to spend that little bit more is really going to give you that extra edge you know every time you perform you're always sure. going to be clear and it's, you're always going to have that consistency in the microphone that you're working with and the MD series really does mm -hmm. give you that. I would agree. So yeah on top of everything we've talked about today I think the best advice that I've got for everybody out there is just to go try as many vocal mics as you can you know we are incredible humans we're all unique we all have different um, singing voices sounds and so that doesn't work on every mic mm -hmm. so I would encourage everybody go take your friends your family's microphones go to the gift music shop or go wherever you can just to go try as many microphones because you'll find that one that is great mm. obviously i'm going to say you know going with that 800 series straight out the box it's going to be a really really good starting place and if you want to do some more sculpting just you know get into those 900 series and if you've got the money i would encourage you to go to the md mm. range so yeah that's the advice i would give everybody out there and we're going to have a listen to the microphones now anyway in a second. We've got lots of different voices and mm. to have a little look at so you can see how the microphones colour different voices from the 800 all the way up to the MD series with a male and a female vocal and some even some distorted vocals as well. Please do leave us a comment down below letting us know what microphone you're using mm. and why you love it so much. Please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe so you can catch more videos like this in the future. And do comment 
right at the end as well. Let us know which microphone was your favorite, if there was any surprises, and if you have any questions, we're more than happy to answer those. I'm in theory with Gift Music. That's Stephen from Sennheiser. Oh, yeah. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Let's go outside. Let's get outside. I need some nature in my life because the walls are closing in. And I will sink before I swim. Let's go outside. Let's get outside. I need some nature in my life because the walls are closing in. Think before I swim Let's go outside, let's get outside I need some nature in my life Cause the walls are closing in And I will sink before I swim Let's go outside Let's get outside I need some nature in my life Cause the walls are closing in And I will sink before I swim Let's go outside Let's get outside I need some nature in my life Cause the walls are closing in And I will sink before I swim Let's go outside, let's get outside I need some nature in my life Cause the walls are closing in And I will sink before I swim And tonight had something wonderful My bad habits lead to late nights Sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't I got nothing left to lose or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you And tonight had something wonderful My bad habits lead to late nights, sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't well, I got nothing left to lose, or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you Tonight had something wonderful My bad habits lead to late nights, sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't I got nothing left to lose, or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you Tonight had something wonderful My bad habits lead to late nights, sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't well, I got nothing left to lose, or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you Tonight had something wonderful my bad habits lead to late nights, sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't I got nothing left to lose, or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you Tonight had something wonderful my bad habits lead to late nights, sending alone Conversations with a stranger, I barely know Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't I got nothing left to lose, or use I'll do my bad habits lead to you I'm hiding behind the walls you built between Strike the match These signals go insane Never blank 
they'll pass you by never blink i'm hiding behind the walls you built between strike the match these signals go insane never blink don't hesitate never blink i'm hiding behind the walls you built between strike the match these signals go insane never blink don't hesitate Never blink I'm hiding behind The walls you built between Strike the match These signals go insane Never blink They'll pass you by Never blink I'm hiding behind the walls you built between. Strike the match. These signals go insane. Never blink. They'll pass you by. Never blink. I'm hiding behind the walls you built between. Strike the match. These signals go insane. Never blink. They'll pass you by. Never blink.